What's up guys, Beaker here! I got an awesome tutorial called the scope rings that everyone's been asking for. And um, while you're waiting, just go ahead and do me a quick favor. Just scroll down about two inches and click that like button. Just right, right about now. Ready? Boom! Click it. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, so um, I've seen a couple tutorials and they use like stroke and stuff, which is kind of cool, but it wasn't really the way I did it. Um, here's just a quick example of what it looks like. And uh, what I really like about this is it's, the twister's not so slow that it's not moving. So it actually looks like it's motion tracked, kind of like moving. And another thing is if you look closely, look at the light on the scope. You can actually see that the light goes, it's kind of hard to see, but you'll, you'll see it later. Light goes on the scope and it kind of glows the uh, parts of the gun, which makes it look even more realistic, and I think it's just uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and try to get into it. Um, it won't be super noob friendly, kind of. Um, hopefully, most of you can get through all this. But um, you want to use a clip, typically where he's reloading, because it's kind of on the side. Um, that's I just think it looks the best that way, as opposed to being straight. Because you can't really tell the depth, and you can't see any uh, any glows on the gun and stuff. So, look for a shot that's kind of like this. Twixer did about 1% speed. I know it's kind of warpy because he's falling down, which is not good for editors. But anyways, here's what I did. We'll go ahead and first just make a new solid. We'll make this um, custom size, 720 by 720. We'll call this ring number one. Okay. And we'll go ahead and go to our rectangle tool, hold and get our ellipse tool, double click, gets a circle, go down to your mask, click on it, and uh, command or control D to duplicate. Second mask is now subtract, and then change the expansion negative, so we just get like a cool ring. Let's do negative 60 for now. All right, cool. So we'll also add a fill to our layer just so we can pick our own color. And I'm going to pick, and you'll see why in a bit, just a regular kind of blue, but not all the way at the top, kind of uh, in this corner. Because when we're going to set this to add, we want this to be somewhat see-through as opposed to all the way up where it's like, can't see through. So, just in that area. All right, what should I do next? Um, let's go ahead and duplicate the ring, push P, and, oh, we got to make these 3D, by the way. That's another thing. These are actually 3D layers with a camera and everything so that they actually look like they are tilted and in line with the gun as opposed to that stroke I saw. It just looked too flat to me, you know? So we're going to make this, try to make this as realistic as possible. All right, so we take this second ring, call it ring two real quick, and push it back into Z space, maybe... 100 pixels for right now. Okay. And we'll also make a new camera. And 35 millimeters should be okay. Click okay. Now we're just going to use the camera t camera tools to position it rather than changing the ring positions. So we'll go up here and we'll go orbit camera tool. And kind of just rotate it so it's kind of in that uh, direction. Um, another thing real quick, we'll scale these rings down, push S for scale. I'm like all over the place, huh? Um, move it down to like 50% for each, maybe 40% for right now. Okay. So now we'll go to track X and Y and just kind of position it over. And, um, that looks okay. They look a little bit too spread out. So go to ring two, bring it in to maybe 50 pixels. Looks pretty good. And just try to line it up just so it looks like it is um, you know, in the direction that it should be. So kind of mess with the rotation a little bit, a little bit of trial and error. And we want to make this when the Twixter starts. So if you look at the Twixter, start right here. Okay, so make sure it's all positioned how you like it. Go to the camera, push P, hold shift, and push A. So we get position and point of interest, keyframe both of those, and go to the end so your gun is kind of moving and just try to slightly correct it. So maybe rotate it just a slightly bit more 
and go to the track XY, move it just a little bit back. So if we try to scrub through this, it looks like it's moving with the gun. And if we need to make adjustments, we can later. Okay, so that's, that's good for now. Um, next thing, I want to sort of cut out the ring so it looks like it's behind the gun. And if you see my track mat tutorial, we can do this pretty easily. And I would suggest looking that up because it is quite amazing. So we'll turn off one of the rings and we'll look at ring one for right now. And we'll go to full res. And we'll also go to 100% and scoot over over here so we can take a look. We're going to make a new solid. Oops. Solid, make it comp size, call this mat one if we're doing ring one. Okay, so we're gonna turn it off, put it right above ring one, take our pen tool, make sure the mat is selected. When the twixter starts, we're gonna draw where the gun needs to cut off the ring. So I'll start about here, just draw across like this, and go around, and boom, 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 boom. All right. Push M on the mat layer to get the mask. Mask path, keyframe, move to the end, and just fix a couple of the points so it um, fix fits the gun again. Make sure your mask doesn't go into the ring over here. So make sure you just kind of scoot those over. And let's take a quick scrub through to make sure everything's all right. And it's okay for right now. We'll change it if we need to. but. Here we go, you ready? On the ring one, toggle your switch in modes so you get your uh, transfer modes and your track mat. Track mat, alpha inverted, boom, cut off. Now it's a little sharp, so on the track mat, we'll push F, feather about mm, three pixels, and you can kind of see it's slightly feathered right there. So I'm gonna quickly do that for the ring two. So turn off ring one, ring two. I can actually duplicate the mat layer, put it above here, Push M, take off that mask. Sorry if I'm going fast, but hopefully most of you should know what I'm doing if you have been with me for a while. So on that mat layer, the new mat layer, pen tool, and just draw out what needs to be cut off and just kind of go around here. Boom, 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 boom. Push M on the new mat layer, keyframe, move to the end, and we will go ahead and fix these points really quick. I do not know how I'm doing on time, so I won't even really uh, care about that. So hopefully you guys can stick with me. And again, ring two, track mat, alpha inverted, boom, and feather the mask about three pixels. All right, turn the other ring on, and let's take a quick look how this uh, looks. Turn this down to quarter real quick. So it goes in, and it looks like it's pretty close to being motion track. The uh, mask looks a little bit off at the end. Um, we can always fix that later. But um, you can see how it's slightly see-through. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going for. So that's that's what I did with that fill color. Looks good. But we're gonna add some glow to it. Switch up glow. Put that on the ring. And we're just gonna. All we're gonna do is change the radius to 50. So it makes it really nice and glowy, it makes it pop. Same thing with the other ring, and uh, 50 for the radius, and that's good. Now let me uh, quickly animate these on, because we don't want them just flying around in the middle of the clip, right? So right when the Twixer starts, right about here, I am going to use just a simple radial wipe. So yeah, that's all it is, so radial wipe on the, we'll start with the ring two. And actually, we'll do that for both at the same time. So ring two, we'll go to radial wipe. Let me close all these out. And we're just going to check what this looks like. OK, so yeah, we're going to go this way. So we'll start it at 100, keyframe. Go to ring one. And also do the same thing, transition, completion, keyframe at 100. We'll push U, and we'll push U on the rings. Let me try to close all these out. Looks kind of messy, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got these two keyframes. We'll move forward. We want this to be somewhat fast, so maybe about a, a second, full second. Keyframe these down to uh, uh, zero. So these are good, and they will go on. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, all right, 
So now we're going to make this even a little bit more realistic. What I actually did to make this um, realistic glow is just duplicate one of the rings and we'll call this um, ring glow uh, scope if you want. Yeah. So we're going to keep the fill, we're going to keep the glow, we're going to keep the radio wipe. Except the only thing we're going to change is push U for, for the radio wipe. When it goes all the way down to the bottom, right about here, set a keyframe for the radio wipe on the glow scope. Keyframe, delete the last one. Okay, so we can't see it because it's on another layer. So we'll scale this down. Can't see it until it fits the size of that scope. You see that? Just like that. And we're going to blur it out with the Gaussian blur. And we're going to put this, uh, yeah, we'll just put it after the wipe. And we'll blur it out to 400, I think I used. Okay, so do you kind of see it? So maybe I can unsolo these. So you can kind of see the glow follows the scope right here as the rings come out, which makes it look like it's actually glowing part of your scope and just makes it look that more realistic. And there's one more glow I used on the actual gun, and this was just a simple 2D layer. So we'll make a new solid, and we'll call this glow on the gun, if you want. And we need to copy that same fill, the same color, this blue. Copy, paste, so we get that blue. Turn it off right now. Go back to the beginning, and we'll just take our pen tool here. And just mask out what you think would be on the top of the gun that would get glowed. So maybe a little bit of this. Go around here. Just kind of draw just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because it's going to be blurred out anyway. We're going to push M. Keyframe. Move towards the end. And then just kind of fix the uh, the points. So we can double click. Slide this over. And that will be good for right now. I don't really want to fix too much of it. So we get this fatty piece of color right here and it's not looking good so we're gonna set it to add and we're gonna we can add a glow to it a lot of glow just make it a quick I don't know 25 pixels or something and um, yeah we need to blur it out as well blur actually let's go to the mask and just feather it so we'll feather this quite a bit so maybe 50 seems a bit much but we're going to turn down the opacity so we want this to be quite quite subtle just like the one up here so we'll start at 20 percent see how that looks scrubbing through here and um, same thing here we want this to turn on when this when the rings get close so we don't want it to be on right now so right about halfway right about here we we'll set a keyframe for the opacity down to zero then when it gets all the way at the bottom where it's close, we'll turn this up to that 20 that we liked. Alright. So let me take a quick look. Close down there. And alright. So here's a quick recap. We made the rings in 3D space. We made a 3D camera. That way, oh, by the way, we can move the rings and it'll stay along that axis because we rotated it correctly. So we don't have to worry about the position of the rings too much. We can make this go shoot out like, or I mean, hold on, like shooting lasers or something. Hmm, that's an interesting effect. Hmm, maybe I should use that. Okay. Anyways, so we made a little extra ring to make the scope glow and the bottom glow. Um, the cool thing about the track mats is um, that little cutoff thing. We can move the ring up and down. And it'll still stay like it's you know cut off in between, in between everything. So that's pretty cool. So if you're interested in track mats, I have a track mat tutorial. Very interesting, very very helpful. I would check that out. But this is my scope rings tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot of cool tricks to make things look more real and not too flat. Things like that, glows and real realistic shadows and everything. And um, I just think this was really awesome, really fun. Um, so if you enjoyed any of it, go ahead and like, comments, favorite would be nice, share it or something. Uh, I made a fan page on Facebook, like me on Facebook, we'll talk on there. 
anything. Let's be awesome together and stuff. All right, that's, um, I'm done with that. All right, okay, bye.